Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 28 of the Adobe InDesign tutorial series and today we're going to look at how to you um, add in rounded corners inside of Adobe InDesign. So to do that what you can do is you can go into um, the object option right here and you can see that there's something called corner option. So go over here and right now by default we have a pointed corner as you can see. So what you can do is you can go and select other type of corners so you can see this fancy corner let me turn on the preview and you can see that there's the corner you can increase the size of the corner and see that it's quite fancy as you can see so you can go to bevel corners right here you can go to inset corners you can go to inverse uh, rounded corners and rounded corners so when i increase this what ha actually happens is that all the rounded corners are being selected uh, so if you were to disable this you can see that i can select uh, individual corners for each of the corners just like this and I can press OK. So you can see that I have a corner right here and now what I can do is I can modify these corners according to my like as well. I can also change the size individually. Uh, let me just show that to you over here by let's going to uh, object and then uh, corner option right here. So I can increase the size of the ind individual corners just like this as you can see. So that's how you actually uh, uh, change the corners over here. So this is uh, one way of applying the corners. And uh, the beauty about this is you can also apply to uh, other objects. For example, if you were to select something like a polygonal tool, you can apply the corner over here as well. So you can just go to object over here and then go to corner options and then choose the corner as you can see. So it applies it into all the corners as you can see over there and it actually applies it to all the corners over here. So uh, you cannot actually select this. So you can see how it works. So because this is not a rectangular tool, it applies color uh, corners to all of it. So you can select uh, fancy corners over here. You can see that you can create uh, from unique shapes, rounded corners, which is very common and inverse corners. So now you can also do this. You can also uh, select like a pen tool over here as we saw in the last lesson. So we're gonna go into pen tool click and drag, let's say individual uh, shapes right here. And now uh, what I can do is I can select the corners over here, gonna go to uh, edit, all uh, right. So gonna go to tie, uh, sorry, object and corner option. You can see that I can actually increase the corners over here as well. So this is actually not being changed. All right, so you can see that now the corners are being applied and you can see that you can apply the corner effect to almost all of the shapes that you can draw. So that is how you can uh, create rounded corners and uh, mess up, mess around with corner options inside of Adobe InDesign to create some unique designs. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.